Hey everyone, um, I don't know which one this is recording on, so hopefully it's this one. I'll know when I'm done. So let me show you something really cool about Penny Arcade. So um, a real quick, easy way for me to, sorry, it's super windy outside, so my hair's all over the place, but um, a really great way to do quick background research is Say I want to talk about these specific subjects. I just go grab the Wikipedia page. And I drop them over here. I don't need anything special. I'm not doing anything. Because all I'm going to do is do what's called only summarize. Watch what happens when this works. This is one of the really cool features about ZimWriter that I like. Um, and it's just a good way. I could put other articles in here, anything like that. But I'm just going to say only summarize. And uh, we'll just call this test. Um, I don't need that. Um, we're just doing turbo is fine. I'm not doing any custom prompts or anything like that. So I'm going to say proceed. And it's just going to scrape these URLs pretty quick. <clears throat> it goes pretty quick. And, and this, again uses the summarization process within ZimWriter. It uh, crawls a page with your Scrape Owl API. Um, right now it says it's at 10% of number one um, of seven. And um, then it will put this output over here in just a summary. Um, what's really nice about the summary is it gives me some key points and talking things I'm looking for in an article. Now, here's what I use it for. <clears throat> Um, when this process is done, rather than uh, relying upon the summary process for um, each H2 within the SEO writer, so I'm say I'm creating a pillar post, right? So I want to cover these seven subjects, boom, 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 boom. So this is my summary. So I get these to drop these in. I'll kind of show a little bit of that as soon as it's done. So here's test number one, see? So here's this output, and you'll see, ooh, cost 1.5 cents. So the title is a persona is a user experience. So I asked for seven headings, one, two, three, four, five, or as a, as a suggestion, but only needed five. So that'd be really nice. Um, but maybe I don't want the things, but what I do like um, is maybe about this piece, or this piece, you see. So it gives me an opportunity to go through and pick out the pieces that are here. I can just set a whole bunch of them before I go to sleep. Rather than have to go sift through the articles, I'm trusting AI to kind of pull out the pertinent information for me. That would a quickness, I can read through these in customer retention, measurements, impact. Ah, that's what we're looking for. We're looking for the definition, but it'll already be able to do that. But on what I want to specifically say, impact. Um, maybe some of this as well, you see. Um, and all has to do with the perspective that you're trying to uh, put forth in, in your article. Um, and it doesn't have to be just from Wikipedia. It could be any from any data source that you want. Say you're trying to cover a news topic. Um, recently, there was... Um, the whole thing with Sam Altman and the open AI issues going on right now. And it was very easy to write a current article um, by scraping a few other article sites. And then it finding its more valuable information, and I used that as background information. That gave me the opportunity to have an article with some really good focused stuff. So I would go to Google and um, do a search term on, on Sam Altman and OpenAI. <clears throat> and I'd get the current news articles. I'd take those URLs, put them into the um, Penny Arcade, and create summaries of them. And so it was really interesting. It pulled out people's names, CEOs, other staff members involved, things about Microsoft, um, their investments, uh, their expansion on uh, their... $50 billion plans for open AI, I mean, for uh, uh, infrastructure build outs and all that good stuff. So 
it gave me a lot of current information um, to feed into the background um and hope that ai writes a good article with that background um obviously um matt has shared a little bit of secrets about things coming and i'm kind of excited about those opportunities coming for everyone in the zim rider community um the i put some test articles on my website um there'll be a link down below obviously and um you can see how those work um, those aren't edited at all. There's no custom prompts that everyone always asks me about and that I'm kind of known for, um, or at least within our community. And so I, um, I haven't had to use any of those yet. Um, let's see, what are we at? We're at number five, 45% of the way through number five. Um, what else can we talk about? <clears throat> this is working here. Um, Matt is on target for, from my understanding, to doing an update around uh, Black Friday. So look for Zim Rider to do that. Another thing that he recently announced is as of January 1st, there will, the lifetime deal of Zim Writer will no longer be available. Um, kudos to you, Matt. You should have done that a long time ago. What you are creating is... Uh, fantastic. It really, really is. Um, and all of us really appreciate your hard work and dedication. We know that you have a full-time career as well as a wife and a family. And um, yeah, so the fact that you do give feedback to the community, that you are involved in the community as much as you are. And um, um, yeah, a lot of us uh, really do appreciate that. Um, there's a lot of uh, private discussions and a lot of them speak very highly of you. So, um, thought you ought to know that. Hmm. What else? Been working on a semantics course. Been plugging away on that a little bit every day. And, um, it's going to be pretty simple to understand, I promise. Or at least what's going to be easy and most effective for individuals. Um, it's not as mysterious and difficult as it needs to be. If you're dealing with some large, huge computations that are, uh, needed, um, there's a, there's a place for that. But for average, small mom and pop places, DIY people, agencies, um, there's really no need to, uh, make it as difficult as it needs to be. But, um... The inside team, I dropped a really big gold brick on them recently. They've been testing it out. I showed them real world examples of how other websites and corporations are applying these techniques. They were blown away. They didn't know. So these are all done. So now we have these seven pieces. I can go into something like the SEO writer. Put in my target. Let's put in my I want background work, background colors, and separate them all. And it's here then I would take the pieces from this information and pro provide those here. Easter egg for you guys. And many of you may not know about this. And I mentioned this in the beta channel and the alpha chat, and a couple of people were like, wait, what? I didn't know it could do that. So let me tell you something cool. You do not have to trigger the product outline right here. You can put a, a URL right here for an image. So when ZimWriter is done writing its content and say you have it automatically to upload to Facebook, well, guess what? It's gonna do that. It's gonna download those images in the process. You'll see it in your, in your uh, output folder. All the images will just start dropping there all of a sudden, but those will actually be used in those headers when you post them. You do not have to have a product category outline for that. Just thought I'd let you know that. Um, and it makes life simple. You get to find the images you want perfect for the header. And all of a sudden, you don't need to use another third-party tool that modifies what ZimWriter does. It's all built in. Provides you images right there of your choice. Um, let's see. What else? Again, it's all about saving money. I don't. 
don't want you to have to go too far. <laughs> Stay close to home. It always works. Um, other than that, I don't need to do anything else. Other than you normal settings when you're writing an article, but this is a great use for that summary. Anyhow, that would be all for now. I hopefully that got all on camera. If not, I'll have to do it all again. <laughs>